Thomas Flemenck. Thomas Flemenck died 27 June 1497, was a lawyer and former MP from Cornwall, who together with Michael and Gough led the Cornish Rebellion of 1497, a protest against taxes imposed by Henry Roman VII of England. Ancestry He was the eldest son of Richard Flemenck or Flemenck of Boscarn, by Johanna or Jane, daughter of Thomas Lucum of Bodmin, and older brother of John Flemenck, MP for Bodmin in 1515. Thomas Flemenck himself had been MP for Bodmin in 1492. The family is of great antiquity at Bodmin, having held the manor of Nanstallen in uninterrupted succession from the 14th to the 19th century, 1817. In early times the name appeared as Flandrensis, Flemenck, Flemenck, and in other forms Thomas Flemenck married Elizabeth. According to the vernacular history of the Cornish, Flemenck was descended from ancient Cornish royal line, and specifically from Caddock, of that lineage, who was appointed Earl of Cornwall by William the Conqueror. Life In 1497 Henry Roman VII was attempting to raise a subsidy in Cornwall for the dispatch of an army to Scotland to punish James Roman IV for supporting Perkin Warbeck. Michael Joseph, a blacksmith, when he and his followers reached Bodmin, they were joined by Thomas Flamanck, whose father was one of the commissioners appointed to supervise the tax collection. Flemenck argued that it was the business of the barons of the north, and of no other of the king's subjects, to defend the Scottish border, and that the tax was illegal. He suggested that the Cornishmen should march on London and present a petition to the king setting forth their grievances, and urging the punishment of Archbishop Morton, and Sir Reginald Bray and other advisers of the king who were held responsible for his action. As the Cornishmen proceeded into Devon, they were joined by others sympathetic to their cause. At Wells James Touchett, Seventh Baron Audley joined them and undertook the leadership. They marched towards London by way of Salisbury and Winchester. London was panic-stricken, but the rebels had grown disheartened by the lack of support shown them in their long march. Giles Daubeny, 8th Baron Daubeny, was directed to take the field with the forces which had been summoned for service in Scotland, a force numbering about 8,000 men. By 16 June 1497, the Cornish army of about 9,000 had arrived at Blackheath. Daubeny was joined by the king and some of the nobles and gentry from nearby counties, the next morning battle was joined at Dipford Strand. After a fierce skirmish, Daubeny took Dipford Bridge and he and his troops moved on to the heath. Daubeny, outdistancing his men, was taken prisoner, but soon released. Fighting continued and the Cornish found themselves surrounded. Although they fought bravely, they were a mob without artillery or cavalry against a trained and well-equipped army. The Cornish were soon put to flight. Audley was beheaded at Tower Hill. Flemenck and Joseph were hanged and beheaded at Tyburn 27 June, and their limbs exhibited in various parts of the city. Most of their followers were pardoned. As noted in the above-mentioned vernacular history of the Cornish, when faced with being sentenced to death, Thomas Flemenck is recorded as having uttered the last words, Speak the truth, and only then can you be free of your chains. Family and Descendants he married Elizabeth Trelawney and had the following issue. Joan Flemenck, M. Peter Fauntleroy. Legacy. In 1997, the 500th anniversary of the rebellion, a commemorative March Kestrad Kerno 500 was held, retracing the route of the original march from St. Kevern in Cornwall to London. A statue depicting Ngoff and Flemenck was unveiled in St. Kevern, and a commemorative plaque was unveiled on Blackheath Common, and another, en route, at Guildford at the location of a preliminary skirmish. Flemenck, played by John Castle, appeared as a character in the ninth episode of the 1972 BBC television series The Shadow of the Tower, which focused on the reign of Henry Roman VII.